In this video, we're going to show you how to debug SiteUp WPF licenses and get you back to work as quickly as possible. First, let's talk about how SiteUp WPF licensing works. When your application starts, SiteUp detects is a development environment running. For example, is the application running inside Visual Studio Designer or Debugger? If the answer is no, then SiteUp looks for a runtime key. You can find your runtime key at scichart.com slash profile. With the runtime key valid, the chart shows, but with an invalid or out of date runtime key, then you'll see a license warning on the chart. When running inside Visual Studio 2022, now we look for a developer license or activation. The activation is done using the scichart licensing wizard, which looks like this. Let's begin debugging your SiteChart WPF license. Using the licensing wizard, click on the question mark at the top right of the application. Then click on Show Local Server and Debug Tools. Finally, click Delete Local Licensing File. This will reset your PC into a new state as if you'd never activated. Next, head over to GitHub and find ABT software slash scichart.wpf examples. In this repository under Sandbox, we've included a licensing test app for you to test out licensing on your local machine. Go ahead and download the code or clone this repository to your local disk and then open the licensing test app in Visual Studio. With the licensing test app open, in app.xaml.cs you'll see this code where we have to set a runtime license key. Get your runtime license key from scichart.com slash profile and then run the application, but important to note, run it outside the Visual Studio debugger. When this is working correctly, you should see a 2D or 3D chart shown in the licensing test application. There's also some debug information and some info about the current version of SciChart here, which you can send to support later. The next step we're going to do is run the application again, but this time we're going to run it inside the Visual Studio debugger. Now the application will start, but you'll see a licensing warning here. This is expected behavior because you're debugging the application, SciChart has detected the developer environment, but you don't have an activation yet. You've only included a runtime key. Next, we're going to activate your developer license. Get your license serial key from scichart.com slash profile, and then in the licensing wizard, enter the key here and click activate. You are now an activated developer on this PC. Finally, go back into the licensing test app and we're going to run two tests. First, we will run the application without the debugger attached. Next, we're going to run it with the debugger attached. In both cases, the application should now work. The charts should be visible and there should be no errors in the licensing debug output at the bottom. If after performing these steps, you're still having problems, please send us the following information to tech support. Please send what version and build of SiteChart WPF you have tested and what version of the licensing wizard you are using. Send us your licensing serial key and the runtime license key that you pasted into the app. Finally, please send us the debug output found at the bottom of the SiteChart licensing wizard when debugging, but also when running the application with no debugger attached. Thank you for your time and attention to this video. We hope to get you back working with SciChart WPF quickly.